Hey guys, another week, another vlog. So, um, this week's gonna be short, uh, cause I am, only, it's Sunday, not Saturday, like I would like it to be. Um, yesterday I had to go to San Diego and deal with, um, some stuff regarding my grandma's death. Um, and I had to fly there and fly back, so, in one day, which was a nightmare. And then I, we ended up in the hospital cause my mom fell. So, that was a weird day. Anyway, uh, so today I am tracing the courting lines. I actually have to sew some stuff together first and then trace the courting lines. So um, I got a light box. It's just a flat LED table, actually. It's not even a box. Um, so I'll show you how that goes when I get to that point. Um, uh, it should, should be okay and not that hard. I was planning on doing it a different way and then I read the instructions and I'm like, oh, there's... There's no way to do it the way I want to do it, so yeah. I was hoping to not have to go through the back fabric, but I guess I do, unfortunately. Anyway, um, everyone says, it'll be okay, don't worry about it, it's no big deal. And I'm like, mm, I don't like holes all over the inside of my lining, but okay, cool. I guess that's why some people triple line their, their corsets, but anyway, I'm going to sew some stuff together and get it going, and then I'll show you what it's like on this light table to trace the lines. Okay, so this is what this looks like. Um, here's the light table underneath, and then my pattern is underneath, and I taped my fabric to um, the table and to the edge of this so that it won't move. Um, you can see that the slice table is super thin. It was only like $25 on Amazon, um, and it's powered by LED, and I'm just using a fuel rod here to power it. Um, I decided to use a <laughs> invisible or like a water-soluble marker or whatever, and I found a fine tip one. So everyone was suggesting really awesome things to me. I might try that pouncing technique later, but I also was like, oh, I don't know if I can deal with the mess of that right now. Um, the reason that these are off is because it's said to sew this at 5 eighths and then cut it down to a quarter. So I just sewed it at a quarter because I had about a one to one and a half inch gap in the back anyway, so I decided to close the gap a little bit. Um, plus it'll shrink a little bit with the um, cording. So I'm just, you know, giving myself a little space there. Um, also, just in case I get chubbier, hopefully it'll get thinner, but we'll see. Um, anyway, you can see what a great job this does. I lined this up on the um, boning channel. You can actually even read through it. Um, this tool is actually pretty awesome. Anyway, I'm gonna draw lines now until I have to go. Sarah and I are doing a fondue situation tonight, so hopefully that's gonna be awesome. And now you've seen this. So I've got all the lines on here, and as you can see, I've started, let me see if we can zoom in and you'll see. I stitched these three lines and I'm st stitching these three lines right now. I'm gonna do um, down the thing and then these ones, and then I'll do all of these. So it's, this is all like attached and settled. And then these are super fast to do. So I just do those. And then I just have to do, I did the other one already. It's already all finished. And um, I have watered away, squirted away the blue lines. And um, then I just have to do the middle section and I'll be done with that and ready to actually start cording. Hopefully this will not take for freaking ever. <laughs> so far, this pattern is like, I don't know, I guess I was scared of it for a really long time because people were just like, oh, corded corset, that's such a pain in the hip, but, you know, and I guess if you're probably hand stitching these channels or like stays, you know, it's just a nightmare <laughs> to just keep stitching all these channels, um, especially if you ever have to rip one out, you just feel devastated. <laughs> uh, but what I will say is like, this is the inside of my corset, the outside of the corset, you guys probably can't see this at all, so it doesn't really matter, but, um, you know, she said she stitches it on the outside because she doesn't like the way her bobbin thread looks. And like now that it's in, I, I did a test scrap and it didn't bother me. Now that it's in, I'm like, uh, I wish I had I had been able to sew it the other way. But it would be really hard to like light box on the pattern onto Coutille. Like I could have done it, but eh, it is the way it is. I'm not re really worried about it. And my camera cut out. Perfect. <laughs> anyway, what I was saying was I was really scared of this pattern for quite some time and I didn't really want to do it. Um, Regency already makes me stressed out. Um, but I think the having the long corset will help me be less stressed out about Regency because I won't be so um, feeling like I'm pregnant, I guess. And then um, that wooden busk does wonders. And then I thought that this would be a nightmare to cut to sew these channels, but it's actually not a big deal at all. So to be fair, I have not uh, corded this thing yet, so 
uh, we will see if I still feel that way at the end of this. Okay, that's where I am right now. All right, I've been at this for like eight hours. So I got the um, side back and backs both um, done and completely corded. Um, so I sewed them together, sewed in all the channels and corded them. And then the front panels over here, and it's all, all the channels are in except this triangle right here of ones and I'll do that tomorrow. And as you can see, I started cording this side as well. Um, sometimes I need to trade off jobs because I can't actually sit and sew for, for like more than like an hour at a time. Um, and pro tip, they tell you to use these guys, which are 18 to 22 chenille needles. Um, and to use the 22 if you can needle because it the big eye helps you and ha the length of it helps you sew in the cords But I found these doll needles um, and I'm using this giant guy. Holy cow This guy is awesome. Like I mean as you can see it's just so much longer than these guys are um, so this has made cording a breeze. Like I barely had to use my pliers at all, only when I like accidentally sewed something super tight. Um, so anyway, if you can get your hands on these if you're doing this, I would say this is the way to go. And the eye on this is, as you can see, gigantic. I wonder if my camera wants to focus on that. There you go. Anyway, that's what I've gotten to done today. Um, we'll see what I get done tomorrow and I'll see you then. Okay, so this is what it looks like when it's fully corded. You can see all the cords coming out. Okay, I have overhead lighting, so I always have a shadow in the way. Um, this is what it looks like now that the, it's all clipped. This is just the front of the corset, and then this is the inside of the front of the corset. And this is what the outside looks like now that it has all the cording in it. Okay. It is now Tuesday, and we have made some progress. I have the straps on, uh, both of there. I have the corset all sewed together, as you can see. I have the binding sewed, the front side of it, down along the bottom edge, and pinned in so I can hand stitch it down on the back side. The top side is a little bit weird to bind, so I think this binding is really tight and it's great for the bottom but I might try and go get a wider binding for the top edge if they have one I'm gonna have to look um, this one is a quarter inch wide and I might go for a half um, just because it might be easier to deal with especially with like um, you have to put in uh, what are those called ribbons so you can tie it you have to like bind some of it down to here like on the front and then leave this pocket open so that you can put the busk in which is right there so um i'm gonna worry about binding this bottom edge first and then i have been watching um jennifer rosberg's videos on this corset so i'm gonna go check that video out again just so i make sure i know what i'm doing before i get going um, on doing the top edge, but once that is done, then this corset is done. So I'm making very good progress. Anyway, I'm gonna go run some errands and maybe sew some more when I get back and maybe not, maybe do some tomorrow, I'm not sure. We'll see. Okay, so it's Wednesday night. I have the binding all along the bottom of the corset it out. Also, the links that she gave for the boning, I pulled out, like over there. They were totally wrong, so I had to pull out new boning. And I don't actually have what is required for over here, so I'm going to make cut some down from here. And then I don't have the three inch ones that go right here. Um, this is the top of the corset, like this is a bus cup. Um, there's three inch ones that go here, and I don't have anything three inch, and there isn't one that sells at three inch, so that's a thing. The spiral side piece was also cut, not cut, but she has a measurement that is not. She says, if you didn't do anything to this pattern, this is what the measurements would be. And I'm like, cool, I didn't do anything to the pattern and that's not the measurements. 
So <laughs> I pulled out new ones. Luckily I have a big stash. I need to make a roll for this so I can have these laid out in some way that's useful. Anyway, and I can like write down what the sizes are and stuff. Anyway, we'll do that later. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this on here, figure out how long it should be, you know, probably like to here-ish, and then I will use a pair of snips to cut it and I'll um, cut the corners so it's rounded. And then I will use this file here to file um, it into a curve. And then I will take it downstairs and they didn't have any Plasti Dip at, the, at either store I went to that was white, that wasn't spray paint. So I'm just gonna spray paint the tips of them and then hang them to dry. And I'm gonna cut this one rogue piece that doesn't have a matching buddy uh, that I just have sitting around into three inch pieces as well. So that is the plan, and I uh, hope that goes well. Okay, so here's what they look like. Um, now that they've been posse dipped short. They're not the best possible thing. I mean, they don't look like the other end, but all you're looking for is that they're not um, like sharp in any way. So I just rub my thumb over them, and I'm, yeah, they feel good. So I had to spray the, Spray them with the spray can twice. I suggest getting the dip. I just couldn't find the dip and I wanted to get it done last night. So next time I will get the dip ahead of time. So I don't have to worry about it. I'm going to go put this, uh, these in and start the top binding and probably go to sleep and we'll see what happens. Okay, so it's all bound and everything's done. I have the busk in and there's a flap so I can get the busk out because it's wooden. I have the tightening strings in. These internet are my first eyelets. Please be gentle. Um, they are functional. <laughs> I'll give them that. Um, it's weird though because the eyelets are here and this is where it like draws up but it's also where like oh, that was a crazy but it's also where like the flap is to get the busk out so I'm like is that really that stable? Um, anyway, uh, all I have to do left is put some grommets here and like, I think here so that they can tie together. Um, and then we're all complete. Uh, for those of you keeping track, uh, I got first bl blood drawn right here, um, on my last stitch, <laughs> literally my last stitch. How horrible is that? Anyway, um, I think I'm going to end this vlog on this one I think that they should go Friday Friday to Thursday um because I get the most sewing done on the week end and this week just happened to be really week week productive so um also I think there's like a lot of content in here at this point you guys are probably gonna get bored of watching this um so yeah um I hope you enjoyed this and give it a thumbs up as soon as I put those grommets in which will be in next week's vlog I'm sure um I will also film a video on um, the making of and like my feelings on it and then like the pattern and my review of that and Jennifer Rosberg's class and my review of that and stuff like that will be in that video so be, I'm gonna do a feature complete video on you know items of note <laughs> and do pattern reviews and stuff I think um, would be useful okay I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't, and I will see you guys next time in another video. Bye guys.